Jaya Kunjabi Hari Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunjabi Hari Jai Gopi Janavalava Jai Giri Varadhari Jai Giri Varadhari Yashodhanandana Vajjana Ranjana Yashodhanandana Vajjana Ranjana Chamuna Tiravana Chari Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunja Bihari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Radha Radha Nath Radha Radha Nath Radha Jai Giri Govardhan Giri Govardhan 
गिरी गोवर्धन जय गिरी गोवर्धन जय गौरानिता 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 जय गौरानिता जय जय प्रभु पा प्रभु पा प्रभु पा जय जय प्रभु so dear devotees today we're going to read from the light of the bhagavat we're going to continue with our seminar on uh, analogy nine, which reads as follows. A picturesque scene of green paddy fields enlivens the heart of the poor agriculturist, but it brings gloom to the face of the capitalist who lives by exploiting the poor farmers. So um, just one second. One of the devotees can't seem to get through. Let me just try to help her. Won't be long. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay. <clears throat> so let's read the purport and we'll see what Prabhupada has to say here. With good rains, the farmer's business in agriculture flourishes. Agriculture is the noblest profession. It makes society happy, wealthy, healthy, honest and spiritually advanced for a better life after death. The Vaisha community or the mercantile class of men take to this profession. In Bhagavad Gita, the Vaishyas are described as the natural agriculturalists, the protectors of, cow of cows and the great traders. When Lord Shri Krishna incarnated himself in Vrindavan, he took pleasure in becoming a beloved son of such a Vaishya family. Nanda Maharaj was a big protector of cows and Lord Shri Krishna, as the most beloved son of Nanda Maharaj, used to tend his father's animals in the neighboring forests. By his personal example, Lord Krishna wanted to teach us the value of protecting cows. Nanda Maharaj is said to have possessed 900,000 cows. And at the time of Lord Shri Krishna, about 5,000 years ago, the tract of land known as Vrindavan was flooded with milk and butter. Therefore, God's gifted professions for mankind are agriculture and cow protection. Trade is meant only for transporting surplus products to places where the product, the produce is scanty. But when traders become too greedy and materialistic, they take to large scale commerce and industry and allure the poor agriculturists to unsanitary industrial towns with a false hope of earning more money. The industrials and the capitalists do not want the farmer to remain at home, satisfied with his agriculture, agricultural produce. When the, farmer, when the farmers are satisfied 
by, luxuri by luxuriant growth of food grains, the capitalist becomes gloomy at heart. But the, fa the real fact is that humanity must depend on agriculture and subsist on agricultural produce. No one can produce rice and wheat in big iron factories. The industrialist goes to the villages to purchase the food grains he is unable to produce in the factory. The poor agriculturalist takes advantage from the capitalist and sells his produce at a low price. Hence, when food grains are produced abundantly, the farmers become financially stronger and thus the capitalists become morose at being unable to exploit them. So before I give the class, we'll just say an invocation. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurin Militam Yena Tasme Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhista Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamaya Tadati Swapadantikam E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Chakatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namasate Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Prandavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchika Patru Bhescha Kripa Sindhu Bhavacha Atitanam Pavinibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sari Gaura Bhakta Brinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna dear devotees I just want to quote uh, uh, Lord Krishna from Bhagavad Gita 7.9 where he says I am the original fragrance of the earth I am the heat in fire, I am the life of all that lives, and I am the penance of ascetics. So uh, we see here in this purport, uh, the agriculturalists are being glorified. And we know that when Krishna appeared in this world, he appeared in the Vaishya community, in that where agriculture was very prevalent uh, with the protection of cows and um, uh, the maintenance of agriculture and uh, in an Avaisha community, basically, so that, you know, uh, he lived off the soil, basically, right? He lived off Mother Earth, supplying abundant foodstuffs like that. But um, we see uh, how uh, in today's world, man is abusing all these facilities that nature has to offer. And they are causing more problems for themselves and future generations. Srila Prabhupada spoke strongly about cow protection and sustaining our lives by producing our own food. We see how in uh, the 21st century has really taken a nose dive in regard to environmental issues. Uh, as I was growing up as a, as a child in the 19th century, life was very relaxed. We ate uh, whatever we would grow in the garden, breathe the clean air. As kids, we would roll in the dust and make Play-Doh with mud. Life was enjoyable and at times tough, but those were the best years of our lives. Then comes the 20th and 21st century and the introduction of technology and Ugra Karma became more prevalent. Not that it wasn't prevalent in those, in those days, but it became even more prevalent. 
And we see that um, the world has been taken over by machines. And, you know, our lives have also uh, revolves around machinery and the technology, basically. We are faced with so many problems, uh, such as climate change, greenhouse gases, and much more. Now, the Secretary of the United Nations, Antonia Manuel, said that in a briefing that um, the evidence, evidence is, uh, sorry, that evidence in the report from more than uh, 34,000 scientific sources shows how extreme storms, droughts, floods, heat waves, and wildfires, all of which have been increasing in severity and frequency due to climate change, which is disrupting food production and aquaculture, causing costly damages to cities and infrastructure, and also eroding human health. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, Srila Prabhupada, in the purport of uh, 1, 11, uh, 12, he says that human energy should be properly utilized in developing the finer senses for spiritual understanding, in which lies the solution of life. Fruits, flowers, beautiful gardens, parks and reservoirs of water with ducks and swans playing in the midst of lotus flowers and cows giving sufficient milk and butter are essential for developing the finer tissues of the human body. Our temple has um, many, uh, it has beautiful gardens and it also has uh, a body of water surrounding the temple and we have uh, a fish in there. Right. And um, so this also, you know, in chanting, we walk around the moat and uh, it actually uh, gives you a calming effect on the mind. So. Um, so, yes, Prabhupada says that it develops uh, the finer tissues of the body. And then I will just go through some uh, subheadings. Um, stratospheric ozone depletion. The depletion of the stratospheric ozone is caused by halo carbons such as CFCs and are presently greenhouse gases results in increased levels of harmful solar ultraviolet radiation, which causes health issues and ecological impacts. Degraded air quality is leading to many respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. Uh, number two, uh, degraded water quality caused by oil spills, mining, industrial waste, accumulation of plastic are also, causes, are also causing health issues and is detrimental to marine life. The third one, land contamination. Plastic is a growing concern nowadays. How to get rid of single use plastic because it does not decompose easily. Also radioactive pollution. So there's so much of pollution on land. And if you just look around you, you will see people littering, practically throwing stuff on the ground. You know, pre prior to um, this in the um, 1900s, you know, we never got this, right? Because, okay, it was a different government uh, and, you know, you would be fine if you littered the streets. So, but today's, in today's day and age, and as Kali Yuga progresses, you know, the, even the government is not so strong and people, they do funny things, right? And uh, they're not even, um, you know, in schools, we were, we, had, we were taught about littering and keeping the environment clean. But it seems that there's no education nowadays on, you know, on, on environmental issues in, in schools, basically. You should, we should teach children from a young age on how to be clean and how to keep themselves and the environment clean. The fourth one I was going to discuss is deforestation. So um, our forests are being cut down 
which results in no clean air. So when there's no oxygen, what are, what are we gonna breathe in? You know, we're gonna breathe in all the carbon dioxide that's given off by uh, the vehicles and you know the cars, the trucks, the buses, like that. So can you imagine what's, what our health is going to uh, go to in, you know, in a in few years time? Then the next one, number five, soil erosion is a problem for agricultural productivity as well as for the functioning of the ecosystem, of the natural ecosystem. So uh, this uh, soil erosion is a, is a big topic nowadays, if you, you know, on the internet uh, like that, because, because of the floodings and all of these things, natural disaster that, that's happening, the natural soil, the topsoil is being washed away. Number six, land use and habitat loss due to infrastructure, the buildings of roads and cities. So, you know, land is being lost basically because, um, you know, people are cutting down trees and they're trying to uh, make a home wherever they can, right? So, um, of both cities like this. So, uh, you know, so the land is being lost in this way. Biodiversity loss. Many plants and animal species are threatened with extinction. Other problems include food insecurities, disease, oil and energy security, conflict and displacement, natural disasters like this. So, you know, we have been through uh, many floodings over the years, and most recently two floodings, one in May and one in April, you know, just consecutively. Uh, and um, we see that these natural disasters are bound to happen. Why? Because of um, the um, imbalance, imbalance of the uh, gases, the natural gases like this. So um, there is full, in uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam, Prabhupada states, 1106, there is full cooperation between man and God and man and nature as ex exemplified by King Yudhisthira, who can bring about happiness, peace and prosperity in the world. The attitude of exploiting one another the, is the custom of the day will only bring misery. Srila Prabhupada was a visionary. He could see this world, what this world is going to become, right? Uh, the future of this world. And that's what we have today. Therefore, he instructed his disciples to open farming, farming communities. It was Srila Prabhupada's ardent desire to show the world ideal living conditions according to the principles of Deva Var Nashram Dharma based on the simple formula of land, cows, and Krishna. He coined the phrase simple living and high thinking by building Krishna conscious communities worldwide. He demonstrated a simpler and more natural way of life. Uh, and uh, in this way, you know, uh, he, um, established uh, many farming communities whilst he was here, just to point out uh, the sustainable alternative to modern life. He said that, uh, as Srila Prabhupada pointed out, if these farms become sustainable, then the whole world will be Krishna conscious. This is in a letter in 1977. We see that at the present moment, Farming communities have developed and Srila Prabhupada started the new Vrindavan project. Then we have the Gita Nagari in the USA and many others in the USA actually. Uh, this was head headed up by Bhakti Tirta Swami and uh, is now uh, run by his disciples from South Africa, Parijata and Juva, who were originally from Cape Town. And I know them personally. So, uh, yes, so they are running that uh, Gita Nagari farm at the moment. Eco-village in Maharashtra, 
by His Holiness Radhanath Swami and his disciples. There are many more that are emerging in India, in Hungary, by Shivaram Swami, in Australia, Brazil, and other places of the world. So this is very important part of Srila Prabhupada's legacy. Uh, we should try to the best of our ability to try and make a change to the environment in a small way. You know, like uh, getting rid of single use plastics and instead using, uh, you know, um, this uh, bags made up of natural fiber, things like that. So uh, this class is not a very long class, but I just want to share uh, some videos now. And um, Paramatma Prabhu, maybe you can stop sharing, then I can share those videos uh, that... So first we're going to see the effects of greenhouse gases and yeah. What is the greenhouse effect? Earth is a comfortable place for living things. It's just the right temperature for plants and animals, including humans, to thrive. Why is Earth so special? Well, one reason is the greenhouse effect. A greenhouse is a building with glass. Building with glass walls and a glass roof. The clear glass allows sunlight to shine into the greenhouse while also trapping the sun's heat inside. This is how a greenhouse keeps plants warm even at night and in the winter. The greenhouse effect keeps earth warm in pretty much the same way. Earth isn't surrounded by glass, but it is surrounded by a jacket of gases called Uh, sorry about the devotees. Uh, let me just go back. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. What is the greenhouse effect? Earth is a comfortable place for living things. It's just the right temperature for plants and animals, including humans, to thrive. Why is Earth so special? Well, one reason is the greenhouse effect. A greenhouse is a building with glass walls and a glass roof. The clear glass allows sunlight to shine into the greenhouse while also trapping the sun's heat inside. This is how a greenhouse keeps plants warm even at night and in the winter. 
The greenhouse effect keeps Earth warm in pretty much the same way. Earth isn't surrounded by glass, but it is surrounded by a jacket of gases called the atmosphere. In the daytime, the sun shines through the atmosphere, warming Earth's surface. After the sun goes down, Earth's surface cools. This releases heat back into the air, but some of that heat is trapped by the gases in the atmosphere. These heat trapping gases are called greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane are all examples of greenhouse gases. Earth needs a balance of greenhouse gases to maintain just the right temperature for living things. But some human activities are changing Earth's natural greenhouse effect. For example, burning fossil fuels like coal and oil releases more carbon dioxide into our atmosphere. These extra greenhouse gases can cause the atmosphere to trap more and more heat, leading to a warmer Earth. NASA satellites are constantly measuring the gases in our atmosphere from space. They have observed increases in the amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. The information from NASA satellites can help scientists figure out where greenhouse gases are coming from and how they are ending up in our atmosphere. This information will help us better understand the impact that greenhouse gases have on our climate and help us better understand this very special greenhouse that we call home. Find out more about our Earth at NASA Climate Kids. Okay, the next one I want to share is climate change. Let's go there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hi, Krishna Madhuji, sound check. Hi, Krishna, sound check. Is everyone still there? Hi, Krishna, we can hear you, but not Madhuji. Oh, yeah, I think she has a problem. If there's anybody want to share some realizations in the meantime of, of what, what they've seen, you're welcome. Uh, also welcome to Rasa Stadi, Madhaji, Hare Krishna Madhaji, welcome. Welcome to Prakash, welcome to Dav Kishori, welcome to Damodar Prabhu, 
Welcome to Bhaktan Kurira Paul Mataji. Uh, while Mataji joins again, you'd like to share anything that you've that you've heard so far? Hare Krishna, welcome. Bhaktan Kurira Paul Mataji, you'd like to share anything? After a while, I have some noise here outside, but what can I say? I haven't gas in my home, but I installed some uh, like mirrors uh, up on the roof, and we use the warmth from the sun, and this warmth is transformed in energy, and we can keep inside about uh, 18 degrees, even in uh, summer, even in uh, the winter season. Uh, with a very, very small cost. And the oh, gas we know is the best enemy for our atmosphere. Oh, okay, thank you so much. I think uh, Mataji, Mataji has joined us again. Welcome, Mataji. Anka Devi, Mataji, welcome. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Sorry, we lost you a while there. Okay, uh, yes. I'll just try to share the screen again. I just want to mm -hmm. share one of the devotees talking on Srila Prabhupada. So uh, let me just try to share that again. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. With big fat priest. Production. And Prabhupada says, all this has happened the last 200, 300 years. Somebody said in the conversation, conversation Prabhupada, yes, few thousands of years, this everything has been going bad. Prabhupada said, no, everything happened the last 300 years. The world was much better. Hare Krishna Madhuji, sound check. I think we're losing the video because of data connection problems. I'm sorry about that. It doesn't seem Not like fun. my sharing is very good. But anyway, we can take some... Yeah. Uh, some comments from the uh, devotees now about uh, sustainable development. Hare Krishna. Paramatma Prabhu, would you like to say something? Uh, now, Mahaji, I just uh, think that the topic is an important topic to protect, to protect our environment, you know, in general. Mm -hmm. And um, we obviously have to be uh, more conscious of what we are doing. And uh, Krishna consciousness prevents, it presents very simple things that we can do, how to love simple, simple loving, high thinking. And we need to apply that to save the environment. That's what I can think of. Thank you, Mahaji. Yeah. Hare Krishna. You know, uh, when Vibhu Chaitanya Prabhu was temple president, then uh, we used to use uh, these plates made up of uh, made out of um, sugar cane. It's called bag gas sugar cane le uh, leaves. And uh, well, now we're using paper, which is you know uh, as good, but uh, those were like really nice. Um, we used to get uh, yeah, containers also in that, in Begas. So yeah, it was, it was very nice. Uh, and we, he tried to go green as much as possible. And I think we're still doing that at the present. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's nice to, uh, you know, uh, 
sort of uh, just put our minds to it and try as to the best of our ability to go green, you know. And uh, in our small way, you know, in whatever we can do to save the environment, we should start with us, with ourselves first, right? Before we um, actually uh, take it out there. So we should, we should start with ISCOM, right? And people, by seeing our example, they can, um, you know, learn from us on how to protect the environment, you know? And it's actually coming to this age now, to the stage where, you know, um, because gas uh, fuel is becoming very uh, limited. And, you know, in time, people will have to go back to uh, the old, the, the primitive way of life, a so-called primitive way of life, which means that they have to use the cows and the bulls for actually uh, plowing the fields, right? Because there won't be any fuel left. So what are they going to do? You know, they, they won't be able to drive the tractors or any other machinery like that. So, um, so yeah. Anything else? Anyone else would like to contribute? Uh, Maharaji, we have a comment from Rasatali Mataji on the chat. She says, we have so much land here in South Africa. And how can we start this in its infant stage, state here, to move towards becoming more sustainable? Yes. So we sh as I said, we, we can start with ourselves, you know, in a, in a small way and then grow big because uh, we need manpower, right, to start off with. We need manpower and we don't even have that in our temples nowadays. You know, we, we are so limited here. So, you know, we should like look at, at a broader picture and how to employ or to get everyone involved, the whole community involved in, uh, you know, deriving what we actually actually heading, heading to our goal we should actually get the whole community involved in that you know those who are workers like you know uh, can actually till the till the till the land and uh, engage them in planting like that so uh, in this way we can uh, yeah we can use make use of the land for agriculture and for other many other things like this so Maybe if you have some ideas, Rasa Stali, maybe you can share with us. We'd like to hear from you. Hare Krishna, Mata. Hare Krishna, everybody. Um, you know, in our Lanesia temple, we started a project um, mm -hmm. where we were wanting to put uh, solar panels so we can get our lights. And especially now with this load shedding, it was, you know, it was all put on halt, but um, with COVID in it, but we were looking at, you know, uh, the solar panels for for the natural lighting, because, you know, we're very fortunate in South Africa from 365 days uh, in a year, we have maybe about 10 days that we don't have good sunlight, but we have really nice sunlight even in winter. And then we also were looking at um, uh, putting the water tanks. So whatever, you know, in the day to day department, we're using lots of water like to wash all the vegetables and the large dishes and that. So that goes back into the garden. And um, you know, we, didn't, we didn't get all this down because of COVID you know, came, but these were the ideas that we started in 2019. And then um, even the borehole, because we're always having problems with water. So now our borehole is um, you know, up and running. We, 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 you know, we've made the payment for that. So that's like the first step. But the borehole water, which is your natural water, and then the, the solar energy, as well as like using the water. And then we started a project, um, end of 2019 was um, bring a plant, because everybody has plants at home. So bring a plant or a little bud or something, and then we replanted. So, you know, in that way, we put like a whole lot of um, the frangy pennies, the chump of flowers in the Lord's garden, mm -hmm. rose trees and stuff like that. So, you know, in that little small area, we, we, we were, you know, those were our plans, but um, there's still like so much more to do, you know, in terms of like how you're saying um, 
you know, bringing back the cows and the bulls for like, uh, you know, our land and tilling. And so it's like this, there's so much still to do, like growing all our own vegetables. And um, yeah, there's, there's lots that we have to do. So I was just thinking like we have so much of natural land that we could, you know, try to move towards it or look at like where we can approach farmers and, you know, bring that into our temples and, um, you know, get people to buy like the, the natural, um, naturally uh, organically grown vegetables into our, I was just thinking of Mother Nav Kishori, Mataji is also online, like, you know, they have land, like imagine if they um, use their land and they like bring like a whole bulk lot and then, you know, supply to the devotees, like all this organic fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's lots we need to still do, yeah. Yes, there's lots we can do. We need to put, just put our heads together, right? And then try to work around it and how to, how to actually go about it. So, yeah, thank you so much for that, Rastal. I really appreciate your comment. Uh, and uh, enlightening us on uh, some of the ways that you are implementing in Lanesha. Really, really appreciate that. And as I said, uh, you know, uh, we were doing a uh, little farming. We have some grounds here on our premise, premises and we were doing something, but uh, things weren't working out right, you know, with the theft and all of those things. So we just, um, you know, uh, forsake that for the time being, I guess. And I don't know what uh, plan management has for that land at the moment. So anyone else would like to contribute? You're most welcome. Let's see. Well, Amaji, 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 sorry, I heard that the temple, they're also doing away with polystyrene uh, plates. Yes. And, and I know they're still using the cups, but they're trying... Uh, well, mm -hmm. no, cups, no, cups, I think they, they've stopped cups, but the, we stopped I, the yeah, they stopped polystyrene. I think the food for life, I think they're still using polystyrene though. But I know the temple is trying their best to stop polystyrene. Yes. Because yes. it takes a long time to degrade, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, who else is there? Praksha, let's Hi. hear something from you. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna uh, Mataji. Yes. Yes, yes. No, here in Zani, like uh, we all like trying to do be biodegradable, like bricks they are making from uh, all the other uh, natural ideas. Uh, they are using a uh, banana leaf also for uh, uh, plates and all, like, you know, to eat. Uh, they yes. make like a calendar also from banana plates. Uh, I saw, I bought it also. Then uh, mm -hmm. uh, my son's school also, they made like a bricks from biodegradable bricks and uh, other things they are doing like all, all the like uh, natural ideas like, you know, they are doing here this side because Zanin is a like tropical forest area and is all farming area. So uh, they are again? all, uh, sorry Maharaji. Where's that again? Uh, Zanin. I'm I'm in Limpopo province. Where? Limpopo province. Oh, Le Limpopo. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so it's like all for area is a tropical forest area. So we have like a lot of farming for uh, uh, all the citrus food, uh, fruit, uh, pap papaya, lot of papayas here, lot of banana plantation here. We have mango, lychees, and guavas here. And uh, like they are, they are doing like so much uh, natural things like, uh, and they are making a lot of natural stuff, uh, wow. like local, local areas people. Yes, yes, yes. So do yeah. you have a center there, Mataji? Sorry, Mataji? Do you have a center in Limpopo? No, no, I don't have, only I'm the one who is a devotee in Limpopo. Oh, okay. Looks like I must come there and start something, huh? Yes, and uh, no, you you can come. You are most welcome. And Lila Mohini Mataji and Prabhupada Priya, uh, they are coming also like once a year to visit me. Oh, 
So okay. you must have visit us. Yeah, it's a very nice. Uh, if you Google my place, uh, it's mm -hmm. very beautiful scenic. Uh, all the mountains surrounding with the waterfalls, lot of la yeah. lakes and dams, and uh, it's uh, very famous for budding also. Mm -hmm. Our area. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes. Thank you. So yes. Thank Mata you for the. <laughs> I may just take you up on that. Yes, you must, all of you must come one day for a Japa retreat. <laughs> yes, that yes. would be nice. Yes, Maharaji. Hare Krishna. Yes. Thank you, Amatashi. Thank you, Navakishwar Amatashi. Uh, anyone else? Amatashi, we also welcome His Grace Damodar Prabhu. I heard he's new at Westville. Hare Krishna Prabhu, are you there? Damodar Prabhu does. Welcome. Let's hear from you, Damodar Prabhu. You can unmute and speak. Haribo. Haribo. Yeah, thank you for welcoming me uh, to your area. I'm happy to be you know, able to have some association. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Welcome, thank Prabhu. you. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. So, Mata, uh, Mata, sorry, I was just thinking when I was hearing Mother Nav Kishori speaking about her area and the banana leaves, mm -hmm. I seen this was many years back when I went to India, they were taking these mm -hmm. certain types of leaves and they had this machine mm -hmm. that would actually like you know, press it together and it would form like bowls and plates out of leaves. So I'm just thinking, I wonder if like we could do that research or something and it, because they have like you know, the byproducts of like the citrus fruits is like all these different leaves or like maybe the other fruits. And if they could like make these um, bowls and stuff and then like supply all our temples in the in the city area, it would be like such a nice thing, you know? So in that way, they also um, using their resources and then we using natural stuff in terms of like, uh, you know, it's back, back, back into the earth, the biodegradable. So uh, yeah. yeah, we could maybe look at something like that, you know, and find out like how is it actually done in India and, and like these little machines and stuff like that, that can, you know, press these things together and create these. Because it's a one use plate and a bowl, but it's like, you know, it doesn't then harm the environment and then it's byproducts of your fruits and stuff like that they selling. Yes, yes I saw they're making by hand all the, you know, all the big, big, big leaves, uh, they're making the bowls and plates and they're stitching by hand. I saw myself in India. People are making at home all the plates and uh, bowls also. And then we used to eat in that also, where many years ago I'm talking about. But I, I saw in my childhood because I'm from India, so I brought up that way also. Mm. Yeah, so yes, that's like something you can look into you know and then you all have so many fields of all these um like for example we don't eat all the leaves of the oranges and then like that's all just you know so that's like they i don't know which leaves they actually use but like yeah if you could look into that and find out and then you know that's like something that y'all can um then supply all our temples that's nearby the umbumalanga uh the kwasula natal temples Johannesburg, there's four, four centers, so that would be so nice. I'm just thinking. But yeah, I'm sure they can make from uh, banana leaves because in India is uh, Gujarati, they call Khakra, but I will find out for you which uh, uh, in English. But uh, I will, uh, I saw banana, banana ones also bound in India. So I'm sure they can do it. Yeah, that would be nice. See, we with our temple, because we have like maybe about 200 or something for our Sunday feast, we, 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 we stopped all paper plates and we bought stainless steel from India, all the stainless steel plates and cups. And then, you know, we wash them up every week. But uh, in terms of like the big festivals, then it would be nice, you know, like to use these instead of paper plates and polystyrene and that. Yes, and you can make a hole in the ground and they can uh, automatically like put the 
all the dumping there, there and they mix with the soil very nicely. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you, Maita. Hi, Krishna. Ranga Devi Mataji, are you there? Sound check. Hi, Krishna. Sound check. I think we lost the Mataji. And Mataji is there. I wonder if she's busy doing something. Mataji, sound check. Oh, Mataji left. <laughs> is anybody wants to share anything else? We're almost done with the class. Uh, Madhaji, I must say you have good ideas. Uh, Kishore and Madhaji and Rasas Tali Madhaji, thank you so much. Uh, it would be nice if we can expand on, on and discuss more about that. Yes, Prabhuji, we should actually look into this. It's, uh, yeah, it's a very important, and, very know, important like topic. Small, small steps and then this is what um, yeah, can make a big difference. Even our, um, our, it's a little bit expensive, but it was very nice. You know, for our take care of Krishna, instead of all those plastic containers, they move to the biodegradable ones also. Um, yeah. And and that also the the you know the people receiving it were very appreciative of it. They said this is so much better. You know, like they you, they didn't mind like you know that that was being used. Uh, and if you have to even increase the amount, but like they liked that idea already. They were saying they really loved the idea. So no, we should look at it in terms of like how we ourselves can start contributing yes, yes. to it. Definitely. Yes, so I think we have to uh, do one group and they can make, uh, maybe we can check on the Facebook or YouTube or somewhere yes. how they're making there. Yes, or even if we know someone who's making it personally, you know, they can show it to us. Yes, so a machine I, I involved, here, here, Prabhuji, here they have like small, small, uh, uh, like a, what you call that, uh, house business. Uh, yes. in a mountain area so they have like small small groups with the black yes. people so they are making oh, okay. like these things yes Prabhuji uh, oh, they are making so nice. like these things uh, and uh, maybe we can collect like that now uh, we can do like that for our time yes, and, and if you see any 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 uh, uh, you like anything you like to share you can share in our group that we have you know some pictures if you saw something so we can share with uh, Mataji also yes yeah, sure sure if I check I will check for you and I will share it also. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I don't know whether I don't know whether the Mataji is coming back. Uh, we've got almost about a minute left. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share? I think uh, maybe somebody can end with some kirtan. Anybody like to sing? Mataji, Navki Shwara Mataji, you'd like to sing and close off? Sure, probably. Okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Maji, thank you so much. So nice, Kirtan, and you sang. So I, I don't know whether we should wait. You'd like to wait for the Maji or can we close off? Uh, time is up now. What, what do you all think? Uh, maybe Rastali Maji, are you there? You like to sing as well? No, Prabhuji. Maji okay? sang very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Damodar Prabhu, do you like to sing? Or are you okay? I'm okay, Prabhu. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't think we, the time is up now, but we'll, we'll maybe Mataji got some connectivity issues. Uh, so, Hare Krishna, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time and your input. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you thank so you. much. And Hare Krishna. Bhaktan Mataji, thank you so much for joining us. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.